age of 13, um, I was surrounded by Islam and Muslims and um, Muslim, they were some of the most amazing people I've ever met and uh, just their kindness and uh, the you know compassion I saw that they had for people and their generosity and how welcoming they were. My family raised uh, me and my sisters and brother uh, to be more aware of the world and everyone and everything that's in it. We spent most of our life traveling. We always learned quite a bit. It was not just an education, I mean a, a trip for uh, having a lot of fun, but it was about education and learning about where we were and the culture and the history. Uh, moved over to Saudi Arabia, to Riyadh. Uh, in about 1980. My father uh, is a surgical oncologist and was hired by uh, King Faisal Specialist Hospital. And so we lived there for about three and a half years or so. And uh, we had four masjids around and so we uh, heard the call to prayer all the time. And I think my love for Islam actually stemmed from uh, hearing the beautiful sounds of uh, the words of the Quran. Ever since then I've just felt a connection to it. Whether I understood the language at the time or not, I found it to uh, fill my heart and it's never left me since the age of 13. It was 28 years later that I <laughs> I've done Shahada, um, but that was because I did move back to the Middle East, and about a year ago when I moved here to uh, Dubai, I decided uh, it was something I wanted to resume uh, and looking into, and uh, I got a Quran and uh, with uh, English transliteration and uh, started reading, and just literally every day, maybe for half an hour to an hour, I would just spend time uh, reading through different uh, sections, and it wasn't that I started from the beginning and went to the end. I would just open up in numerous pages and spend time reading it and processing the information. And uh, I, I got to a point um, where I was like, you know, this just feels so real for me. The things about having faith and about doing prayer and about giving to others, um, you know, believing in uh, the words of Allah. Everything made sense. Um, it was in May that I chose to uh, make Shahada. It was a time in my life that after having studied for a while and I decided it was something that was important to me. It was a path in my life that I was ready for. I could feel and sense that it would bring a greater level of fulfillment enjoy in my life, uh, something that um, I felt a bit of a void and I knew this was the piece that was missing. And uh, made Shahada with uh, full intention of having Islam as a everyday part of my life. A great example of something that uh, the Prophet would um, share is that, uh, and that I'm taking from his uh, Readings is I, I find that to have compassion for individuals and to share your love and your knowledge with others and uh, to be open and caring and giving and uh, to have faith and to share that with others is uh, very important and it's something that uh, I want to be able to share with others. <laughs> scientists I work with technology that's uh, appropriate to work with horses and I met uh, Sakir and his uh, brother um, Mubarak and uh, Ayman and I got to treat their horse and it was a great experience and I went on an endurance race with them and it was absolute excitement and uh, I have a love for horses so enjoyed the uh, time and the opportunity of having met them and they're kind and generous people. Their kindness and generosity um, was uh, very reassuring and uh, it was 
unexpected to be so welcomed. And uh, I'm very grateful for uh, all your uh, very deep kindness and your generosity, very much so. They were definitely a part of uh, my introduction to uh, having even the desire to look further into Islam. Just seeing their way of living uh, was very inspirational and uh, it made me really contemplate uh, moving further along um, into doing uh, deeper reading. Subhanallah, the truth is that the جهاز عندها جهاز للخيول عدة عدة أمور كطب يستعملونها فتلاقينا عندها سبحان الله مرت علينا وتعرض عند واحد من الشباب عندنا من الأخوان كنا في سباق سيح السلام سباق سباق القدرة ولقيناها وعرضت علينا الجهاز بالصدفة شوي صار الكلام يجي عندنا وياها فنوعا ما حسينا ارتاحت التعامل عندنا فاستقرت عندنا يعني مدة طويلة وصرنا ناخذ ونعطي في الكلام التعامل الطيب دائما يخلق عند الإنسان ردة فعل طيبة هذه خصلة أصلا لازم ويجب أن تكون من خصال الإنسان المسلم اللي هي طريقة التسامح والدين المعاملة فربي كتب لها الهدايا الحمد لله هدايا من الله عز وجل سبحان الله وياتنا مسلمة فيوم يات حمد يعني الوقت هذا كله ما قطعت ما يتنا فيه تراها كانت تبحث هي كانت تبحث في الديانات اني والله يوم خبروني فرحت كثير يعلم الله والهدايا اولا واخيرا الانسان ما يقدر يهدي من من يشاء الله يهدي من يشاء الهدايا من الله ولكن الانسان يكون سبب طريقه تعاملنا وهذه واجب علينا I know at this point I still have an enormous amount to learn, but that's okay. Um, you know, it's just a, a process of taking time and understanding and having the support and guidance from uh, those that have been uh, Muslim, I guess, most of their life. I've met some that are other converts as well, and they've had a beautiful stories. So it's all been very encouraging, and uh, so it's brought me to where I am here today. Um, I have to say that it's probably one of the most joyful experiences in my life uh, outside of having my precious children. Um, this has been one of the most meaningful experiences and decisions uh, that I've made in my life. And um, I'm filled with joy and peace and uh, knowing the benefits of Islam and um, it all is so amazing and to be directly connected with our divine creator uh, and to know how much love uh, Allah gives to each and every one of us uh, is just precious, precious beyond words.